Hello everyone and welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. It's Shannon here and today I'm going to be showing you uh, wet on wet watercoloring. I've got the little gift stamp set there. I'm going to pull off the plain bag and the plain handle. And then I'll mount these stamps on some acrylic blocks. I've got a 5x7 watercolor panel there. I'm going to prep it here in a second with um, some anti-static powder. Real quick there. And to the right you can see I have my embossing ink. So the very first thing I'm going to do is um, emboss several rows of these um, uh, gift bags. So I'm doing a row at a time. I'm angling that stamp at different angles. That bag stamp. And then I, once I stamp that row, I'm going to stamp the handles directly afterwards. And line them up here and stamp them onto the bag. Now this was a little tricky to do because it was hard to see that um, that rectangle bag. So if you're having a hard time doing this, uh, stamp your rectangles first, stamp, then emboss them, then stamp the handles on after you emboss them. They're a little easier to see once they've been embossed with the embossing powder. Okay, so I've finished stamping all the handles now. I'm going to pour in my white embossing powder and then I'll heat set this. Oh, real quick, I'm doing just a little cleanup where I did actually over stamp, stamped beyond the uh, the bag. So I just cleaned up with a little needle, wipe, removed the embossing powder. Okay, now it's been heat set. So you can see my row of bags there. And now I'm going to stamp another row. So just stamping that rectangle first, and then I will do the handles. And you really do have to do this row by row because you can't... Um, you need to make sure you have space for the handles so you can't just like stamp the whole panel with rectangles and then um, try to do the handles because you may not have allowed yourself enough room to stamp the handles. So I, I just like doing it row by row and just make sure. Plus it, I don't have to worry about my um, embossing ink possibly drying out before I get to the embossing powder. All right. And I'm just continuing this process. I'm doing the same thing, stamping a row by row, doing the bags first, then the handles, then I do the embossing powder, and then I heat set it. And I I'm going to do that, repeat that process till I've um, stamped little bags over the entire uh, watercolor panel. So I only have, after I do this, after I heat set that, okay, this is going to be the last row. So what this embossing, um, this embossing will do is it will kind of act like it will be a resist and it'll also act like a create like little wells to contain the um, the water when we do the wet on wet water coloring. Okay, so here's my completed um, panel. You can see all the little embossed gift bags, really pretty. And now I'm going to tape it down to a clipboard just using some painter's tape. The painter's tape will help to make sure there's not reduces the warping. Also, it taping it down, I can lift the panel up more easily because I want to angle the, the um, panel to allow some movement of the water. Okay, I'm just pressing down on some old packaging, uh, uh, a rainbow of waffle flower dye inks, and then I'll mist them with water. And th that's going to be my watercolors today is those dye inks. I got two um, cups of water because one's going to be my clean clear water cup and my other cup will be where I clean my brushes. You need to make sure you have um, maintain clean water for this process. So I'm taking the clean clear water and I'm filling in with just water the space that I'm going to paint which is the bag. I'm filling in the bag with just water. Now I'm taking up my picking up the pigment, picking up the ink and just adding ink to the top of the bag and because this panel is angled, that pigment is going to move with the water down to towards the bottom of the bag. And this technique, you're just going to get more play with water and pigment. And it's not going to be as flat as if you just were to paint directly on dry watercolor paper. This is going to have um, more um, variation with the, the ink. So I'm doing the exact same thing here on this other bag. I wet the bag and then I put I'm putting in the um, the ink at the top, angling the the um, panel and then that ink will move down with the water towards the bottom of the bag. I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to I'm going to continue this process for 
all the bags that I stamped on this watercolor panel. I'm doing it color by color, so I'm not jumping between colors. I'm trying to do all the purple at one time and then I'll move on to my next color which will be blue. Um, I do that just so um, I don't have to clean my brush a lot and waste uh, ink. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So I'm moving on through the blue, same process. I'm wetting this area that I'm going to paint, which is the back. And then I put the, apply the pigment and I angle the um, panel up so that pigment or that ink will move down to the base of that little bag that I painted. Now I'm doing like the yellow orange, which is, uh, hap no, not happy go lucky. Oh, happy day. The green is chirp chirp. The blue is daydreaming and the purple is, that is happy-go-lucky. Oh, and the red is my pleasure, which is what I'll do last. So basically I used a rainbow of colors here, just it's going to be a really colorful kind of card, but still soft, it's still kind of be soft. So I'm, go I'm almost done here, I only have a couple more bags to do. I'm having to go back to some of the colors that I had finished earlier just to Make sure I have a nice, um, the colors are spread out. They're not all in, in one area. And that will complete that panel. So I'm gonna let that dry. Now it's dried. So all my watercoloring, and you can see all that play with the water and the ink, really pretty, a lot of fun. Now I've got Like a Pro ink, which is a gray. I'm gonna mist that with water and now I'm gonna paint the background. So I'm gonna paint around all the gift bags with this Like a Pro. This is not wet on wet, I'm just going directly onto the dry watercolor panel with my um, watered down ink, just going around. So it's really simple. And if you do make a mistake, which I did right there, you just pick up that ink with a paper towel. Because if you're trying to go really fast like me and get it done, you probably make a little mistake. So you just need to, just some paper towel will pick up that ink pretty well. So I'm just going to go around here, all of this, and this will help the bags to pop because there is some white space or white um, within each bag because the ink didn't go all the way down. And um, I, kind of, I like that gradation and this will just help the bag pop from the, the background and so you can see it better. And once I finish this panel, I have one more bit of watercoloring to do. So almost done here. I really like, so the reason why I use inks over watercolor is I found, now granted I don't have really nice expensive watercolors, but I find that the inks don't, there's not pigment in the inks, it's, you know, it's dye ink. They don't um, uh, cloud your embossing. So I like, if I get any of that ink on there, it's still, my embossing, I can easily wipe it off and my embossing still is nice and white or nice and clear or gold or silver, whatever embossing color I use, the, wa the, pic the ink doesn't kind of cloud it up. So right now is my last bit of watercolor that I'm, I'm doing, which I told you about just a second ago. I am using that Leica Pro again, but my panel has dried and now I'm going around the left side and bottom of each bag and adding in a shadow. So I'm basically doing another coat of um, that Leica Pro right near the left side and bottom of the bag and that will create a little shadow. So I'm going around all the bags and popping in that little shadow and this will just make it, this just takes your watercoloring one step further. Like it just adds, it adds so much it's a minor thing, but it adds a lot of depth and a lot of interest to your to your um, stamped images when you add a shadow. I really like to do it, especially with watercolor. It's just really easy to do. Okay, now I just grabbed a finer brush and I'm going around the handles and adding a shadow as well. And when I get to my finished card, I, you'll see that shadow a little bit, bit better. It's subtle, but you can kind of see it even now. And if you want your shadow, shadow to be more pronounced, you just do another layer. So if it's, maybe you've got your, watered your ink down too much, just do another layer and that will help. You'll get it, you'll darken your, your ink there where you have your shadow. 
Okay, so that's my completed panel. Now I've got the balloon meshes and stamp set. Just to save time, I stamped and wide embossed that sentiment from that stamp set on a scrap of gray paper. Now I'm adding um, glue to the back of my watercolor panel, which I did trim to be slightly smaller than a five by seven card so that there's a slight white border around the card. Adhering it down. And then I will take that um, sentiment that I stamped and embossed in white embossing powder, um, put it uh, foam tape on the back, and then adhere it onto my card. And that is the last thing that I'll do. So if you want any more product info, please visit waffleflower.com. You can also follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.